In 2009, 14 European nations met in Paris to sign a Memorandum of Understanding. That started the process of designing and preparing to build the European Spallation Source. Since then, experts from Europe's most prestigious laboratories have come together. They developed the plans and designs for the newest and most powerful source of neutrons in the world. Easily accessible from around the world, Lund is the site chosen for ESS. Here, Denmark and Sweden are connected in one of Europe's most innovative and dynamic regions, the Orasund. ESS is a totally new project where greenfield thinking enables a vision of a 21st century research infrastructure built from the ground up. Located next to Max 4, these labs together will become world leaders in material science. What does ESS look like in the minds of those people who are building it? This particular uh, site location is ideal. I mean, it's close to a major airport, Lund University, an existing synchrotron facility, MAX-4. I mean, there is a foundation in place that ESS can build upon and extend. And, you know, the experience has been with facilities like this type that it is a game changer for a region. I've been working at CERN, uh, at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, for uh, the last 16 years. For me, who has uh, worked at other projects, this is really now the, the biggest uh, accelerator-based project running in the world at this time. In 2012, ESS held an international architectural competition to choose designs for further study. The modular design allows for efficient construction planning as well as future expansion. The essence of ESS is inside the buildings. Here lies the world's most powerful proton accelerator. It fires pulses of particles at the target with a continuous power of 5 megawatts. The target is the heart of ESS. This is where spallation occurs, producing the neutrons that will be used by researchers to explore matter. The engineering effort to design ESS is already advanced. These images are actual engineering drawings. The target wheel houses the tungsten material. One can also see the various components of the housing and the neutron guides. Uh, this will be the highest power spallation target in the world when it's built. And that's a very uh, technically challenging uh, opportunity and uh, it's uh, been a very exciting draw for me as a, uh, as a spallation source designer to contribute to that uh, design and construction of this facility. Once the proton beam has successfully hit the target, neutrons release out to the experimental stations. Those stations surround the target station. These plans are part of the symbolic suite of instruments that represent the types of research stations that will be built. The design of the entire machine is highly integrated, so it's necessary to have this in order to define the specific requirements for the machine. ESS is a state-of-the-art scientific tool. It will create enormous amounts of raw data. To manage that data and analyze it effectively requires a state-of-the-art data management software center. This high-performance scientific computing center will be located in Copenhagen. It will be established in 2013 and enables the data collected at ESS to be stored and analyzed. It will even enable researchers to simulate experiments using real data. What we want is to have a facility that works exactly with that workflow. That you come in, that you make measurements on a difficult sample at the right conditions, that you have an ability to easily model the data that you've just measured it, compare it to a theoretical model, perhaps get some input from theory, and then publish a comprehensive and coherent piece of work that has discovery plus theory plus modeling. This is where science is moving to. It is not just about one measurement. It's about a variety of measurements in making a breakthrough. And now, uh, the pre-construction is coming to its end and we're going into the construction phase and I think it's great to see the organization which has grown so immensely since I started uh, and to see that uh, everything is falling into place. What we have worked for so hard for such a long time and we can really reap the rewards and I think that is great. This vision is ready to become a reality. The ESS staff and partners from all of Europe's member countries, scientists from around the globe, are ready for the European Spallation Source to become a reality.